Mr. Rajesh Shet, Vice President and Business at BFSI. Mr. Shet is also SBU Head, Manipal Business Solutions. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much for being part of the CTO Summit. At the outset, we'd like to know about Manipal Technologies Limited, its offering to BFSI sector, how it is helping the industry to propel an excellent option. Thank you. Thanks uh, for the opportunity. Uh, Manipal uh, Technology Limited uh, is part of uh, Manipal Group, a well-known group. Uh, we are a 75-year-old company. We, are, we were the first um, security printer approved by RBI uh, uh, in the country. And thereafter, um, from print, uh, we have uh, transformed ourselves uh, into a technology and uh, services and solutions company uh, in this uh, uh, 75 years. So our uh, main focus in uh, banking is uh, into multiple uh, products and uh, services. Uh, we of course uh, started uh, with print, so that continues to be one pillar, uh, uh, one side of the business where we provide secure print solutions uh, for uh, banking uh, uh, domain. Apart from that, uh, we are also a large player in uh, banking cards. We are the number one in the country uh, with almost 65% uh, market share. So we serve with uh, almost every bank, uh, you name in um, banking for um, uh, public sector or private sector, SPI, PNB, Bank of Baroda, OBC, Central Bank, Corporation, Syndicate in private, uh, ICICI, HDFC, Access, Kotak, you name any bank, uh, they are our customers. And uh, within five years uh, of we getting into banking card business so we have captured this market and we continue to dominate the space and uh, by getting into this space we could break uh, the monopoly of uh, MNCs who worldwide if you see only there are uh, three four companies who have done very well in banking cards uh, but in India and they are also uh, very large players globally but in India we could break their monopoly and uh, we could uh, show our presence that Indian companies also can deliver um, high niche product like a EMA card. Apart from uh, banking cards, uh, we also are a large player uh, in uh, FI space, financial inclusion space. So that's where Manipal Business Solutions comes into picture. And uh, we have presence uh, in almost 6,500 uh, panchayats where we disperse uh, government uh, grants, EBTs, okay. both cash in and cash out for uh, mostly private banks, uh, six leading banks, ICICI, Access, HDFC, Kotak, IDBI, RR, uh, and Indusit, RR customers. Uh, our strength uh, has been uh, to develop everything ourselves. Uh, uh, we have a strong uh, IT capability uh, uh, for, uh, and in terms of service delivery, we have a strong team uh, in terms of project uh, execution. Uh, we also have uh, recently entered into digital banking space. Okay. Wherein uh, we have won the contract from State Bank of India to set up 250 digital branches. These okay. are in-touch branches you may have heard. Yes. So we have won this contract against all global players and uh, we have successfully delivered um, within four months right. all the uh, equipments uh, and uh, almost 100 odd branches have gone live. Uh, by end of August, uh, entire 250 branches will be going live. The entire uh, hardware, the software, IT integration, backward, uh, backward integration in terms of uh, uh, connecting uh, uh, this to their core banking, switch, DCMS, everything end to end is uh, managed by Manipal Technologies Limited. So this has given uh, as a new line of business and we see this huge potential in uh, digital banking solution to be offered to all the banks. So that's where uh, 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 we are uh, focusing on now. But uh, we have constantly evolved. We have seen what is uh, uh, the need uh, of the banks and we have uh, quickly got into that space some most of the time ahead of time and uh, we have provided the solutions right in time for the banks another uh, big area is uh, AML anti-money laundering and uh, fraud and risk management area wherein uh, 
we have acquired a company, Indian company called Saramsh, which has a uh, fully Indian uh, uh, Indian uh, developed solution called Cross Fraud, uh, which offers multi-channel uh, fraud and risk management solution. We have acquired this company recently, so we have another uh, line of business that uh, we will be offering it to banks. Uh, we also uh, we already have six banks okay. uh, in the country now, and uh, there are customers uh, outside India also who are uh, using this uh, solution. We see uh, strong potential uh, for this uh, solution uh, from all the banks in the country. Uh, that's it uh, from my side. What are, the, what are the core elements that are actually driving you know growth for your business? In see, uh, we have never gone for. Uh, inorganic uh, growth uh, growth in terms of acquiring some companies and growth we've always uh, grown organically but every growth has come with a new portfolio that we are adding into our services so uh, five years back it was card uh, now the card business is dominating our overall portfolio as you see now this year onwards it will be digital back so every few years we're coming out with something new that is getting added as a business unit right. uh, and uh, we strive to excel in that uh, business unit and uh, almost all our business units uh, have respect to leadership position in the country so that's where our uh, growth is our viewers will of course suddenly like to know about what will dominate after five years uh, we see a huge potential in payment space and digital space uh, cards may not be there in yes. five years time or cards usage may not be there as it is now we are uh, 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 preparing ourselves for that we are we have heavily invested uh, in r d and uh, development in operating out of uh, pune in payment space uh, our next growth will come in uh, digital and payments uh, from mtr how do you see the entire IT ecosystem developing within Indian finance and you know, banking and finance institutions? See, uh, there are two, two things. Uh, the IT companies, one, offering services to banks, uh, uh, be it uh, as a pure uh, uh, IT service provider. There's a tremendous opportunity because banks want to automate their uh, processes and uh, use their resources for their core operation that is banking rather than them doing the operations uh, there is huge space then there are a lot of fintech companies who are coming into uh, this space we are also very active in that space so we see uh, both uh, will uh, have significant growth uh, in the coming years in the banking industry so open source technology is eating into the share of proprietary software right yes. what are your comments on that? we believe in uh, open source uh, solutions because long term um, Proprietary solutions uh, uh, are uh, counterproductive for the growth. The customer will uh, always have a fear that I'm getting locked to uh, X company and uh, their growth will uh, depend on uh, this particular vendor. We always believe in uh, open uh, source uh, technology. That's where our strength is. We would never like uh, the customer uh, to be locked with us for a uh, solution that is not open. We would like them to be locked with us forever uh, due to our service and services. And that's what our uh, strengths have been. And uh, customers have remained with us for decades. Right. So since you, you said 75 years old country, but when actually did you know you started your operations in India? We started in 1941 as a security printer. Okay. So Manipal Group uh, started Syndicate Bank. Okay. Okay. In the um, 30s, and uh, to support the bank, uh, the printing uh, security print unit came into picture. 1941 okay. is where we started our journey. So are you still associated with Syndicate Bank? No, the bank became uh, nationalized yes. in uh, late 60s. Yeah. So the entire bank was taken over by the government. Is it your customer? Yeah, yeah, they are still our customer from that. So they are the oldest customer for right. Uh, MTR. Right. Do you have also you know, special kind of or different kind of services, software solutions for cooperative banks also? Yes, we cater to cooperative banks in terms of uh, all products and services that I have listed are being used by cooperative banks mm -hmm. we almost serve almost 200 cooperative banks okay okay so we have mix of uh, large clients and also mix of small clients okay. we cater to both segments uh, um, 
and also in payment space uh, the large banks will take some time um, to come out of their existing service providers and uh, give us an entry but we see a lot of traction from the cooperative banks for us to make an entry in payment space so sir what are the mega trends uh, mega trends everything is on mobile yes so uh, 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 mobile and uh, aadhar yes if you see everything will happen uh, through identification so future of transactions uh, banking transaction will be through these two uh, modes okay uh, that's what uh, we see the big trend right. right now so paper or that conventional form factors that we have uh, will uh, cease to exist in 5 years or uh, near future just recently government has uh, i mean it has been reported that it, it can ban uh, cash transaction more than 3 lakhs so what are your opinion on that it's good for economy uh, one it will move all the transactions uh, uh, into e transactions electronic transactions it will also bring a lot of transparency and every transaction will get recorded and routed through proper official channel uh, naturally the black money will get uh, curbed, uh, curbed. Uh, apart from that um, handling uh, hard currency cash has its own challenge uh, it is adding into the cost of uh, gdp so uh, any uh, developing or developed economy cannot rely only on uh, cash based economy it has to move to uh, e transactions so that's where the india is uh, moving towards last but not the least your opinion on cdo summit your thoughts on cdo summit uh, this is uh, we have been associated with uh, elts some um, for uh, many of the events uh, uh, recently we have taken part we found a very good response uh, and cdo summit was the first of its kind that we have attended definitely it's uh, given a lot of visibility for us and uh, most of our customers are here okay. it's a good place to be the network, network. Yes. yes thank you